Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. Let's take one more example. 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus. 4x square I can write as 2x whole square. Correct. So I need not divide. If you want you can divide also. But that is not required. Why? Because 4x square I can write as 2x square. So I'll write in this form 2x whole square, correct, plus 2 into 2x because instead of x it is 2x here. So already 4 we have got into root 3 because it's 4 root 3, right? So what I'll do, I'll add and subtract uh, 3 root 3 square that is plus root 3 square minus root 3 square. Correct, and this is plus 3 already I have is equal to 0. So, what I will get here? This I will get 2x plus root 3 whole square. This whole box will become 2x plus root 3 whole square. This minus root 3 square is root minus root 3 square is 3, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. This and this get cancelled is equal to 0. Correct. So, what I get is 2x plus root 3 is equal to 0 or I will say x is equal to minus root 3 by 2. This is one example of quadratic equation which has only one solution. What I have done here? Instead of dividing by 4, I just took it like this only because 4x square I can write as 2x whole square, right? So this becomes 2. I can divide also, I will get the same answer. 2x whole square and 2 into, since this was 2x, so I took 2x here. Since this is uh, already root 3 is there. So I took root 3 here. Since I took root 3 here, I took root 3 square plus root 3 square minus root 3 square and 3 was already there. So I put 3 here. This and this get cancelled. So I got and so I'll take one more example. 2x square plus x plus 4. Here 2x square root 2 x whole square a little complex for me to write. So I'll divide. So I'll take 2 common. This becomes x square plus x by 2 plus 4 by 2 is equal to 0 so 2 I can remove also this becomes nothing but x square plus 2 into x plus 1 by 4 because the whole is x by 2 so I'll write 1 by 4 square plus minus 1 by 4 square and 4 by 2 is 2 is equal to 0 correct this becomes x plus 1 by 4 whole square is equal to 1 by 4 square minus 2 that is 1 by 16 minus 2 that is 16 common 1 minus 32 that is minus 31 by 16. So if you see here x plus 1 by 4 square is equal to minus 31 by 16. So here it is square of some number is negative which is not possible in case of real numbers. If this is real this is not possible. So not possible in real number. Only in case of imaginary number only in case of imaginary number square is negative. Since we are talking about real numbers, real value and I got this equation x plus k square is equal to negative number that means there is no real solution, no real solution, no real solution. There will be imaginary solution for this, there will be no real solution, correct? I can find imaginary solution but there is no real solution, that's clear, right? To find imaginary solution what I can do is or I think you have not studied imaginary thing so you can ignore this now. You will learn this imaginary part in class 11th yeah. So for this point you can say that since the x plus k square is some negative number so we can say that there is no real solution for this. Let's solve one more question. The question says the diagonal of a rectangular field is 60 meter more than the shorter side. So let's assume the shorter side is this one. This is x meter, this is x. The diagonal is 60 meter more than shorter side. So this guy is 60 plus x, correct? 
and the longer side is 30 meter more than shorter side. So the longer side is 30 plus 6. And we know this is a right triangle. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. That is, let's suppose this side square plus this side square is going to be side square because this is perpendicular, this is base, this is hypotenuse, right? So we have p square plus b square is equal to h square. The formula we have Pythagoras theorem, or we can say that x square plus x plus 30 square is equal to x plus 60 square. Or I can expand this, this becomes x square plus x square plus 900 plus 60x is equal to x square plus 3600 plus 120x. What I have done here, I have just used the formula x plus y whole square. This becomes x square plus 30 square plus 2 into 30x, x square plus 60 square plus 2 into 60x. This x square, x square cancel. So what I will get is x square is 60x minus 120x minus 60x plus 900 minus 200 minus 2700 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation I have got. Now I have to solve using completing square. So this I know is nothing but x square minus 2 into 30x. Right? So this is 30, I will subtract and add 30 square, add 30 square, minus 30 square, minus 2700 is equal to 0. Or I get x minus 30 whole square is equal to 2700 plus 30 square is 900 is equal to 3600. That is nothing but 60 square. So what I get is x minus 30 square is equal to 60 square. So going by the formula we have x minus 30 is equal to plus 60 or x minus 30 is equal to minus 60. Correct? Two options. So in case of plus 60, I have x is equal to 60 plus 30 is equal to 90 or here x is equal to minus 60 plus 30 is equal to minus 30. So two value of x, 90 and 30, minus 30. Since we are talking about length, negative is not possible. So the only value of x is 90. So the other sides are, one side is 30, that is 90, that is x. Next side is x plus 30, that is 90 plus 30. That is uh, 120. And this is 60 plus x that is 60 plus 90 that is 150. So 90, 120 and 150. These are the sides and diagonals of the rectangle. Very simple. We have just used the Pythagoras theorem, got the equation and use completion formula to find the solution. Let's take one more example. The question says the difference of square of two numbers is 180. The smaller the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number. So let's suppose we have two number. One, this is big number and one small number. Correct? Let the big number be x and small number be y. The question says the difference of squares of two number. That is x square minus y square is equal to 1. Please note the difference of square. First we square, then difference. It is not x minus y square. If you say x minus y square, this is not equal to 1. Please note this. It is difference of square of number. Correct. So first you square, then difference. If it is square of difference, then you need to first find difference and then find square. But the question says difference of square. Please make a note of this point. People get confused here. It is difference of square, not of, not square of difference. Had this been square of difference, we would have used this formula. But it is difference of square of number 180, so we will use this form. Correct? This is my equation number 1. The second line says, the square of smaller number, smaller number is y square, 
is the square of the smaller number is 8 times the larger number is equal to 8 times the larger number is x. Correct? This is my second form. I can use this formula here to make this equation in only in x. So y square I will put here. So this equation will get x square minus instead of y square I will put 8x minus 180 is equal to 0. This is my equation. Now I have to solve it using completion of square form. Please note what I have done here. It told difference of square of two numbers is 180. So difference of square, first you square this number, you find difference, you get 180. And the second thing says square of smaller number that is y square is equal to 8 times larger number that is 8 times x. We have got two equations. From these two equations we found one equation that is totally in x that is quadratic equation in x. This becomes x square minus 2 into x into 4. Since it is 4 I will say plus 4 square and minus 4 square minus 180 is equal to 0 or this becomes x minus 4 whole square is equal to 4 square is equal to 16 plus 180 is equal to 196 is equal to 14 square correct so I will say that x minus 4 square is nothing but 14 square so I can say that x minus 4 is equal to 14 or x minus 4 is equal to minus 14 two conditions so if you solve this this becomes x is equal to 18 here x becomes minus 10 now we'll see both are valid or not the question says if you see this part we've got the value of x if you take x is equal to negative minus 10 8 into minus 10 will come minus 80 but you say y square is equal to minus 80 if you take x equal to minus 10 then y square becomes 8 into minus 10 that is minus 80. You square a number and you get negative that is not possible. It happens only in terms of imaginary number but we are talking only about real numbers right. So this will ignore. Please note this is a little tricky why we are ignoring this. If you put this value of minus 10 in this equation second number you get y square is equal to minus 80. That is not possible because if you square any real number, you will get positive values. So x is equal to minus 10 is not possible. So x is equal to 18 is the only possible value. So once you have x equal to 18, we will find the value of y. y square is equal to 8 into 18. Correct? So y is nothing but this becomes 4 into 2 into 18 root that is. 2 into 36 root is 6 that is 12 correct what I have done is factorize this so 8 into 18 64 it's 144 actually y square is equal to 144 so y will get 12 so I have got the value of x is equal to 18 bigger number and y is equal to 12 smaller number and that is my answer so in this question the trick part was this part you got x equal to minus 10 and we have ignored x equal to minus 10 y because when you put this value of x equal to minus 10 in this equation you get y square negative which is not possible. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.